Tony's Video Academy presents An Introduction to Doodly Lesson 7 Delay and Duration Presented by Tony Smith Right, I'm going to start off with creating a new video on Doodly and I'm going to use whiteboard and I'm going to change the title to Delay and I'm going to change the resolution to 1080p Right, create that. Before I start on anything, let me just get to the settings because I want to show you something I missed on my last lesson, which is at the bottom of here, these these settings that was on the timeline. Um, there's this enable auto save feature, which is automatically ticked by uh, default, and it says save video automatically every minute. Right. And if you if your needs and tick tick it and then press apply, right? So if you need to know whether you're to save so that's where it is on the on the settings there, right? Um now I'm gonna just bring over a scene part, which is this man with the two text, and I'm gonna show you a preview of how it's drawing at the moment, just to let you see how quick it's been drawn, right? Now it was very quick. Right, now, if I changed the delay on the first one, about six seconds, you'll see the difference with that. Right, what happens now? Right, okay, for six seconds it's gonna do nothing. Maybe it's playing some music or something, then you do the text and that, something like that. Right, I haven't put any music on all sound effects. But if you did, you'd have the sound effects coming on then that would happen, right? So you can delay it according to what you want for different things, right? So that's what, that's what you use the delay for, right? As you could see though, once it was drawn, it was drawn very quick. Now if you use the duration, change the duration of each item, right? So if I change the first one and the second one to 6.3 seconds, they take them a lot longer to draw their items and I'll change the man to 10 seconds. Now let's just preview that for a second. Right, it's taken them a long while to draw the text now with the duration. Right. I mean that could be useful for certain things, say if you want to show details of something, like because if they're actually drawing it that looks more like it's being drawn than the one that come up before, isn't it? You know what I mean? So the the manner that is anyway. Right. So if you've got an intricate item, use the duration by adding to the duration to make it look better. Because if it's drawn too quick, it, it doesn't look as if it's being drawn properly. But if you, if you do it a bit slower by adding to the duration, it makes make it look more realistic by adding to the duration so you can do that right that's just a tip anyway but uh we'll just put that back down to about one on 1.3 for them to and then turn that down to about six yeah right now what i want to do is show you another use for it Say if we've got a, a thing like a Afro-Caribbean woman dancing. Now she's a gif because I, I made her. Um, I drew the drawing and animated it so she would dance. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her between the two texts. Right, so text one, then the lady, and text two. Right, now I'm going to put the gentleman at the top so he's the first to be drawn. Right, there's a reason why I'm doing that, but I'll show you in a moment. Right, now with text two, I'm going to have to put a delay on it so it'll show the woman dancing before text two goes because text two being the last thing, as soon as text two is done, it'll finish. So I need to put a delay on it of about six seconds and give it time to complete one loop of the animated GIF, 
right so we'll do that nice there's the man coming on he's being drawn a bit slow because i put him on six seconds to be drawn now the lady's going to dance before text two comes on and she's going to do one whole loop of a uh, dance routine and that's it right now if i'd have left the man at the bottom you'll see a difference then when because with him being the last thing to be drawn she'll have more time to dance so she'll do a second loop or part of it anyway i'll show you that actually she might do all of it because i've put him on six second duration there so she might do two loops because I've, I've put him at the back now and let's show you that there you go she's doing her one and then when text two comes up that'll be one loop done one loop now she's doing a second loop that's it that's it stop then that was the second loop and the third loop just starting there right so that is what you do with the layers and the delay and duration so if you've got any questions you can always contact me uh do internally pngs or um through um tony's music on youtube and I'll, i will try and answer any questions that i can i hope this has been useful to you and i hope you've enjoyed it please subscribe to tony's music and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.